We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Uh, we got a good one for you today. We're going to get into the uh, Rocky, uh, Eduardo Rocky Hernandez versus Thomas Batiste fight, uh, which is Friday on the zone. Pretty good fight. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Uh, we hit another lock today. Uh, we hit the lock of the week every week. We've hit the lock about six or seven weeks in a row. I think we've hit – I gave – one week I gave you all two locks. Um, so we've been hitting seven locks in a row, six weeks in a row. We're doing phenomenal. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Get the absolute best gambling advice in the boxing world. We also get the uh, in addition to the lock of the week. You also get ask the bookie anything. You also request a video. You can request I break down a fight. You get the updated props. You get all of the best gambling advice that there is. So please join the Patreon. Just five dollars a month. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on, on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, <clears throat> let's get into this fight. Eduardo Rocky Hernandez uh, start. Starts fast, and that was evident in the Jorge Castaneda fight when he got Castaneda a good fighter out in the first round. All right, he's tough as nails. Uh, Castaneda's tough as nails, and he got him out in the first round. You know, Castaneda does start slow, but to get him out like that was impressive. Eduardo Hernandez is really heavy on the front foot. Uh, he leads with power shots, good power. He commits to his shots. He throws good, clean, hard shots. You know, decent speed and athleticism. He's not completely slow and plodding. He's got a little movement to him. got a little speed to him uh, he fights he fights small he gets low he uses his lack of height to his advantage creates leverage uses his power loves his power loves his power and i'm not saying he's wrong for loving his power uh he's got good power for sure but he he's in love with it uh he, he, he commits to shots i would say over commits at times Loves his power. He lunges in. He can't be counted. Uh, but he stays on you, right? He can hit him, but he, he stays on you. You can't really get him to, to back up or reset. He just stays on you. He does smother his own work a bit. He's great, but he is great pressuring the ring, uh, pressuring the fight. He can cut off the ring, and he stays on you. He can switch between the southpaw and conventional stances. Uh, he, he needs to get that jab work. So, so often, he just... Tries to lunge in with power shots or lead with power shots. Doesn't work behind the jab enough. He needs to work on the jab to get inside because once he get on, gets on the inside, he has excellent skills on the inside. So basically, he doesn't jab enough. He's got a decent jab. He doesn't use it. Uh, he doesn't slip shots. So he's just trying to get in with power shots. And when he does that, he's easy to hit. He's easy to counter. It's, it's not very difficult to hit him. But he does stay on you. And he can cut off the ring with his feet. He, he's a good pressure fighter. Thomas Matisse, we've seen him grow up on the Pro Box Series out of Cleveland, Ohio. Gunner man, Matisse. Calm, steely nerves, composed fighter, uh, under pressure. He's a back foot guy a little bit. You know, he's not a ton. He's not really running. He's just kind of back foot set one, two. Uh, too much single shots, in my opinion. A lot of one at a time. Not a lot of pop he kind of pours at his at his shots well he has gotten some knockouts yeah he, he, he pours he doesn't commit to his shots you know um good athlete though good movement he doesn't waste a lot so you see him come on strong come on strong that's gonna be interesting in the rocky hernandez fight he's not a volume guy but he's fairly accurate from the outside nice double jab when he uses it good speed very quick hands uh good from long range he can he, he's good at walking you back he can he can walk you down uh with the straight shots, I like to see him do it because he's got reach. He's got a little bit of height and reach to him. Like I said, nice straight shots from the outside, good speed, sharp combinations. When he uses it, when he lets his hands go, he's a good combination puncher. He's a good boxer. So this this is an intriguing fight. Ultimately, I think it comes down to Eduardo Hernandez. It's going to be too much for him. Like I said, Matisse is, is going to sit. 
in with them, and, he, and they're going to trade. And Eduardo hits a lot harder. He throws a lot more. He commits to his shots. And if Matisse is not going to be completely off the back foot, they're going to sit and trade. And I, I think ultimately when they do, do uh, Eduardo is going to break him down and wear him down. And I, I like Eduardo Hernandez in this fight. All right, let's get into that. Let's find the book on this. Where is it? Here it is. Eduardo Hernandez is at minus 310. There's no props on this. I don't know what prop I like on this anyway, so I would just take one times bet. This is a great pet bet to build your poly around. I like Eduardo Hernandez in this a lot. Put your money on Eduardo Hernandez. A one times bet is still going to make you 3225. He's a, he's a nice size favorite, but it's not you know, overwhelming where you can't really bet on it. So I would make this bet, one times bet, hundred dollar bet would make you thirty two bucks. Also, someone you could build your parlay around. You could do this with a Canelo. You could do this with Laura. If you do this with Laura, you're gonna get close to having an even money bet. Um, so like, share, and subscribe. Uh, again, Laura Hernandez on the money line minus one hundred. In addition to that, you can add. You can build your parlay around. You can get this down to even money or close to positive money. Um, with just uh, a couple of, of fine-tuning bets, you know, uh, Canelo by stoppage, something like that, in addition to this. And then, you know, Stephen Fulton on the money line. And bang, you got yourself a, a plus money parlay for the week. It's that simple, guys. And that's why I do this. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Book comes at you for every single major fight. So you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. It is September 12th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.